Hello, my friends, and welcome. Now I know, just when you thought you had a handle on the world, along comes a notion so intriguing, it might just make you question the very fabric of reality. Today, we're going to delve into the realm where science and the supernatural appear to dance with one another, the DNA phantom effect. Almost sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, doesn't it? But stay with me. This is a journey that promises to be as captivating as it is confounding. Picture this, a laboratory as sterile and precise as you can imagine, where scientists are about to observe something that defies conventional wisdom. It's here, in this crucible of discovery, that the lines between the physical and the metaphysical seem to blur. We find ourselves on the threshold of a philosophical landscape that stretches far beyond the horizon of our current understanding. And it is in this expanse that we must wander if we're to grasp the magnitude of what we're discussing, the essence of our very being. How often have you looked in the mirror and wondered just who or what is staring back at you? Is it merely a collection of cells, a happenstance of biology? Or is there something more, an unseen essence, that science is just beginning to recognize? It's a question as old as humanity itself, yet today's topic casts it in an entirely new light. So let's ask, boldly and without reservation, could the very blueprint of life, our DNA, hold the key to understanding realms beyond the physical? Now let's not dilly-dally on the precipice. Let's dive right in. The DNA phantom effect. It sounds like something from the pages of a quantum physicist's dream journal. Discovered by Dr. Peter Garyev, the premise is that when DNA is removed from a vacuum after being bombarded with light, it leaves behind a phantom, a sort of energetic afterimage that continues to affect particles of light as though the DNA were still there. It's as if the DNA has a ghost lingering in the place it once occupied. Intriguing, isn't it? This discovery prompts us to consider if there is more to our genetic material than just the double helix blueprint of our traits and ancestry. Could it be that our DNA is also a holographic projector of sorts, containing a blueprint of the etheric body, an energy field that exists in tandem with our physical form? Think of it like this. Much as a hologram contains every part of the image within each of its fragments, perhaps our DNA holds a complete pattern of our existence, seen and unseen. And before you dismiss this as mere science fiction, consider how the quantum world has consistently upended our traditional views. Atoms were once thought to be the smallest units, only to open the door to a zoo of subatomic particles. Quantum entanglement has shown us that particles can be linked across vast distances, a phenomenon Einstein famously referred to as spooky action at a distance. So if particles can be entangled, could parts of ourselves be similarly connected to a grander, unseen matrix? Throughout history, philosophers have speculated on the nature of our existence, often pondering the unseen forces that shape our world. Plato spoke of a world of forms, the true essence of things that lies beyond our sensory perception. Centuries later, Descartes grappled with the mind-body dualism, seeking to comprehend the relationship between the physical and the mental realms. Fast forward to the modern era, where thinkers like Carl Jung introduced the concept of the collective unconscious, a shared, universal wellspring of symbols and archetypes embedded in the human psyche. In this vein, the DNA phantom effect might be viewed as a bridge between the ancient and modern, a quantum echo of the soul, if you will. But let's not just rely on the musings of the mind. Instead, let's ground this in the words of the discoverers themselves. Dr. Garyev explained, we have experimentally proven that a genetic phantom, the structural configuration of DNA, sends and receives information. It's a statement that pulls us, almost irresistibly, into the realm of the extraordinary. Historically, the idea of an etheric or subtle body has roots that reach back into the misty realms of antiquity. The ancient Egyptians spoke of the Ka, a spiritual double born with each individual. 
In Hindu philosophy, the concept of a subtle body, or sukshma sharira, is a fundamental aspect of a human being, interwoven with physical and spiritual existence. Fast forward to the age of Paracelsus in the Renaissance, and we find theories of a life force that animates the material body. In more recent history, the Theosophical Society at the turn of the 20th century revived and expanded upon these ancient concepts, proposing a complex model of an etheric body linked to a series of ascending spiritual planes. If the DNA phantom effect is to be taken as a contemporary echo of these ancient beliefs, we might consider the implications this has on our understanding of health, healing, and consciousness itself. Imagine a world where our DNA not only influenced, but communicated with our etheric body, perhaps even affecting our physical wellness and mental states. This notion has been explored through the practice of energy medicine, where healers claim to treat ailments by manipulating an invisible energy field. While the jury may still be out in the court of scientific consensus, the DNA phantom effect provides a tantalizing hint that such practices might have a basis in reality, albeit one we are still striving to comprehend. And here we must ponder the ethical implications. If our genetic material has such profound and unseen influences, what responsibilities do we have in its manipulation? Genetic engineering, cloning, and gene therapy all take on new dimensions of moral consideration when viewed through the lens of the DNA phantom effect. How do we navigate these waters when our maps may not yet show the entire ocean? Let's also consider the cultural impact of this concept. Literature has long explored the idea of an unseen force guiding us, from the daemon of Socrates to the force in Star Wars. Music, too, has played with the theme of an unseen presence, with melodies that seem to evoke feelings and memories from beyond our conscious mind. And in film, well, who could forget the vibrant depiction of the energy field surrounding all living things in the movie Avatar? These cultural artifacts reflect a collective intuition, a sense that there is more to us than meets the eye, a belief that the DNA phantom effect brings squarely into the spotlight. Take, for example, the novel Dune by Frank Herbert, where the idea of genetic memory plays a critical role in the story's mythos a concept not far removed from the holographic implications of the DNA phantom effect. Today, debates rage on in philosophical circles and internet forums alike. Some claim that the DNA phantom effect is evidence of a new science of the soul, while skeptics dismiss it as the misinterpretation of quantum weirdness. Regardless of where one stands, it's clear that discussions about the nature of consciousness, life, and the universe will continue to be influenced by this fascinating phenomenon. The importance of such discussions cannot be overstated. We live in an age of unprecedented technological advancement, where our understanding of life both begins and ends at the molecular level. The DNA phantom effect suggests that there might be more waiting for us, just beyond the horizon of our microscopes. A new chapter in the human story one that marries the physical to the metaphysical in ways we are only beginning to imagine. And so, as we pull the threads of this narrative together, what are we to take from this exploration? Perhaps it is this, that the universe is more interconnected than we can fathom, and that within us lies a depth of mystery matching the vastness of space itself. It's a thought that should leave us humbled, curious, and eager to learn more about the great dance of existence in which we all partake. I want to thank you for taking this journey with me. It's been a pleasure to ponder these profound ideas together. As you go about your day, consider this. What if your DNA carried more than just the instructions for your physical form? What if it also held the key to understanding the deeper aspects of your very essence? How might that change the way you see yourself and the world around you? And for those who wish to continue the conversation, I leave you with a few questions to ponder. What implications does the DNA phantom effect have on our understanding of life after death? How might this discovery influence our approach to medicine and healing? 
And finally, what does it mean for our search for meaning in an ever-expanding universe? Farewell, my friends, and remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a noble path, one that connects us across time and space. May your days be filled with curiosity and wonder, and may you always find joy in the unfolding mystery of life. Keep questioning, keep searching, and above all, keep that spark of inquiry alive within you.